Hey, I'm Johannes of NewGadgets.de and I'm in Taipei right now and having a look at the new Apple iPhone 10 that was introduced over here. And in this video, I'm going to show you the new iPhone with the new big display and the new design. So let's have a look. Hey, schau dir mal die Box an. Das ist das coolste, was ich hier gesehen habe. The iPhone 10 was introduced together with the iPhone 8 in mid-September and as you can see the very special feature of it is the new display. So we have almost a bezel-less display and of course also other features that you will see in this video. So let's start with the display. We have a 5.8 inch OLED with a super retina resolution that is 2436 by 1125 pixels which is a pixel density of 458 ppi. The maximum brightness is 625 candela, which is pretty bright. It also supports 3D touch, like you know it from the previous iPhones. All around it has a pretty thin bezel, as you can see, but on top you have all the sensors, so that's why there's also this black part over here. Apple is using these edges, like for the um, time, or also the other symbols, like the battery life, etc. But in my opinion, they could have made the top bezel a little bit bigger so that we don't have these edges there. But yeah, I think that's just my personal preference. From the technology, we have the same processor like the iPhone 8. So that's the 64-bit Apple A11 Bionic chip with the integrated M11 motion controller. As you can see over here at the back, we have a dual camera like you know it from the iPhone 7 Plus or the 8 Plus. So this, that is pretty nice because we have the smaller phone with the dual camera. It's a 12 megapixel camera with a wide angle and zoom with an aperture of 1.8 or 2.4. It has an optical image stabilization and also 4 times LED true tone flash. Videos can be taken in up to 4K with 60 frames per second, which is really nice. Slow-mo videos can be taken in 1080p with up to 240 pictures per second, which is also, of course, very cool. The front camera is a through depth camera because as you can see on the front it doesn't have the home button with the fingerprint sensor anymore so you have to unlock it with your face and for that you just have to scan your face which is pretty easy as you can see. The front camera has 7 megapixel and also portrait mode like you know it from the main camera. From the connectivity we have Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, Wi-Fi 802.11ac with MIMO and when we have a look at the iPhone 10 from all sides, you see that we have a very nice glossy stainless steel frame over here, which reminds me a little bit of the iPhone 3G. Looks really nice, but you have to be careful with scratches. So I recommend you to use a case for it. So at the bottom, we have the lightning connector, the integrated microphone and stereo speaker. On the left side, the volume keys and the mute switch. The 2700 mAh battery can be charged wirelessly with G and you can charge it pretty fast. In just 30 minutes, it will be charged already 50%. So for me, the iPhone 10 is really a great smartphone. And if you're using an iPhone 7 and you want to change, I would recommend you to get the iPhone 10 instead of the iPhone 8 because the iPhone 8 is too similar to the iPhone 7 in my opinion. So with the iPhone 10, you really get a new iPhone. If you're using an older iPhone, like the iPhone 5 or 6 or 6S, maybe you should go to the shop, take a look at the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10, and then choose what you want. And if you have no problem with the higher price of the iPhone 10, I think I can really recommend you to get that phone because it just really feels pretty good and new. For me personally, I like that the size is like the normal iPhone 7 and 8, but you have the dual camera at the back. Also, of course, the display looks gorgeous and I really like this new design with the stainless steel glossy frame. And that was my hands-on of the new Apple iPhone 10. And if you have any questions about it, then just leave me a comment down in the comment section below and I will try to answer it as soon as possible. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up over here on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe my channel so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. So thanks for watching and see you in my next video.